So people, what a crazy thing we have here with MetaHuman. We are all really surprised and this is the big step. There's something amazing. We are already talking about what is the paradigm shift in what is the question of character design. And we are not talking about 3D characters here. This is something different. This is the huge step in 3D design characters. We are all doing videos on making tests with MetaHuman. In my case, after 10 minutes working with it, uh, I feel nervous when I see this uh, amazing quality we're talking about. So let me show you the sequencer as you've seen in the trailer. I am a MetaHuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. MetaHumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user. I have eight levels of detail and have been tested on a wide range of hardware platforms. Well, I think we have all seen this, so let's do one thing. And let's see what we're talking. Let me check using this field of view. Uh, look at this here, what a great details. This amazing quality. And this, of course, is not all about the mess. Here in Pretty Sure, we have amazing materials and great textures also. But I don't want to go into many details because, as I tell you, in 5 minutes I have been analyzing a bit in general the quality of this project. But as you can see, this is really amazing. Let me show you using another type, for example, using the detail lighting. Look what a great quality we have here with these normal maps. I'm pretty sure they are using here a complex material. And look at this, what a great optimized mesh. That means it's a very well done job of optimized and texture modeling. As you can see using these parameters, the final quality is really amazing. Let me show here using a lower focal length. Okay, and look at this here. This again, this is really amazing. What a kind of details. And what a great and nice quality really amazing. And now look how the animation progress, how these wrinkles on the skin look. Using every kind of expressions. And now look at the eyes. What a great details. Uh, I have no words, really. I think we all somehow expected to try something like that. But the day you open a project in real time like that, I don't know, you go, you go crazy. And now let me show you the frame per seconds. I look at this, we are working maybe at uh, 30 frames per second or more. Really nice performance also. And with a really amazing quality. Okay, let me look with this character also. And this again amazing. The quality of this hair and and the level of detail. Let me look here. So everything it's awesome, really. And now we select, for example, the character. And uh, let's look because this will be crazy. Okay. Oof. What an amazing skeleton tree. I don't know who has done this. I don't know really. This is amazing. And now look at this here, what a kind of detail we have here with these small hairs. This is another level, really. I have no words. Just trying for 10 minutes and, and really I feel, I feel crazy with trying with this project. And also let me show you, because I want to try using the Unreal Life Link application. For that, of course, you need a new model of iPhone using Para poder a true trabajarlo camera. con la aplicación de, de iOS and en concreto con el configured. This is really nice. Vamos a hacer una prueba. So let me try. 
vamos a ver haciendo gestos muy exagerados como I'm recording this in Spanish and like always I translate to English probando, probando vamos a ver and look at this because it's really nice la verdad que simplemente con que veáis eh, los gestos, cómo captura, lo estamos haciendo con el plugin Live Link Face, pero es que es impresionante cómo captura todos los movimientos. Yo ahora mismo estoy mirando la cámara y tampoco estoy muy atento, pero es brutal. So I have tried this using Unreal Live Link and of course in Spanish, as you can see. Vamos a hacer incluso también una prueba grabando esta misma animación porque también me gustaría verlo. Como estoy mirando a la cámara todo el rato, vamos a ver cómo funciona. And now I make a recording using the sequence recorder. Hola, soy un personaje de MetaHuman de Epic. Vamos a ver, estamos hablando. Vamos a hacer gestos un poco más exagerados o oh, a ah, cara de miedo cara como de alegría, eh, cerrando los ojos, levanto las cejas, gestos muy exagerados y ahora movimientos muy sencillos simplemente en la cara, vamos a ver, parece que perfecto, vamos a ver la grabación esta que hemos hecho, so finally I have no words really. This a big step, this a great evolution in this world of digital human or character creation. This another level really. And also as I know, it comes with a great editor that you can customize your characters really, really easy as I see. And this is the evolution we have all been waiting for. I think that from now we will be able to work with a very high quality characters and with a great performance also. And of course, this depending on your computer, don't expect something really special if you are working with a low performance computer. But I'm pretty sure that many of us will start to see this great evolution.